WikiLeaks has released a set of CIA documents so large it's being compared to that of Edward Snowden. Calling it Vault 7, not to be confused with Vault 111, it shows what most people thought was happening already, or what we all joked about. That the government is spying on us through our iPhones, Androids, TVs, and even gaming consoles. While some outlets have remained loyal to the hand that feeds, WikiLeaks does have a 100% track record in terms of authenticity. I also paid close attention on the day of to see when Facebook and Twitter would remove their most talked about topics off their trending list. And right on cue, they did so around 5 p.m. Eastern Time, only to go back and forth with having it up and down, despite it always being the number one trending topic, or having the most people talking about it. Take that however you wish. Let's go through exactly what we know so far, in no particular order, so you can inform all your friends and family exactly what's going on before more info inevitably piles up. One of the first things we learned with international implications was that the American consulate in Frankfurt, Germany is a front, essentially a nesting ground, cell, OP, etc., for US operatives to hack into European, Middle Eastern, and African targets. To quote one of my friends, aren't all consulates like that? Included are instructions for operatives to get through German customs, which basically states to say that you work for the government and what to do on your first day when arriving in Germany. Needless to say, the Germans, who caught the Americans spying on them before, are not too happy to have learned this. So what else can the CIA do? They can read your phones. Not only did the Obama administration never follow through on their promise to inform tech giants of exploits they found, but WikiLeaks docs say the CIA has lost control of all of this info, meaning anyone in the hacking community can likely use the same capabilities that the CIA has. That's pretty scary. Here's a list of just some of the Android exploits that the CIA is aware of and shares with their assets. Some of these are even given humorous or douchey names, such as creatine. As for iPhones, that's more fun, as it appears not only are both Apple and the government aware of many exploits that make it easy to steal your nudes and credit card info, they are shared with the CIA, NSA, and even foreign governments like the UK. That's right, the American government pays to keep known exploits in iPhones open, meaning if they could use it, any other hacker can get into your phone too. Not only can they hack into your phone using methods that capture the data on screen before it's encrypted for applications such as WhatsApp, but they are able to implement an attribution change. That means, for example, let's say the CIA hacks into somewhere and leaks some info, they can then leave air quote footprints to make it seem as though the hacks came from somewhere like, I don't know, Russia? The leaked documents also contain instructions on how to implement listening software into a Windows or Linux operating system, for example. But wait, there's more. Smart TVs, specifically Samsung, were named as being particularly vulnerable for hacks. For example, there exists a program that makes it seem as if your TV is off while it secretly runs a program that records you. No, this is not a joke. What is kind of funny though, is that there are some excerpts in the documents of CIA operatives saying that they have the dankest Trojan, and even instructions on how to avoid paying for Windows authentication activation because fuck paying for Windows. Another one of the scarier things is that the CIA was investigating on how to hack cars remotely, which opens up a new wave of conspiracy surrounding Michael Hastings' death. You should Google him. So what does this all prove? It proves that most of our fears about the government spying on Americans is true, which goes directly against the CIA mantra to not operate within US borders. Also that the CIA has likely taken it too far as a rogue government agency, and probably should be turned inside out in terms of personnel. WikiLeaks' impeccable record and the reactions of tech companies worldwide should also show you how seriously it's being taken. Believe it or not, it seems InfoWars was right about this one, publishing articles over a decade ago warning the public about this. As sensational as they may seem at times, Jones, Watson & Co. have another huge notch in their belt. There's plenty of sources saying that this is all real. We can even forget the fact that the old faithful has barely mentioned a word, if any, about it. And when CNN doesn't cover something, it's usually for a reason. Let's be honest though, CNN is the most forgettable thing about this entire video. 30% of their domestic terrorism cases that they're investigating are from folks who are refugees. It's important not to label all refugees bad people, I, I, that's not why I'm here. But Cup. Cup. I was just going to say, Congressman, it's time to go, but I think the uh, TV gremlins did that for us. Your little life, so don't tell me. Well, no, it's not a debate. You're running okay. the show. You bring in okay. your victim. Yeah, that seems mildly inappropriate for a political discussion.